Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a look that is going to be full glam for this holiday season. I'm so excited because we're going to be collabing with Sasha Slays from Instagram. She is my makeup wifey. I am so excited that we are going to be able to collab. We've done many collabs before. Um, I'm just not quite on YouTube yet, I believe. But I will make sure to link everything for her social media platforms down below in the description box so you guys can check her out, follow her, and I'll make sure to put a picture of her look up in um, the video as well for you all. But today it is all about holiday glam and I am so excited that we're going to be able to bring this to you guys. So stay tuned for a super glammed up look for this holiday season that you guys will be able to wear to all your holiday functions for work family get-togethers and all that jazz so if you want to see what we're going to be doing make sure you stay I've already done my base for you guys as you can see and I've already gone up and warmed up my crease just a little bit I just use some um, shadows from the meat matrimony palette by the balm but you guys can use any shadows that you prefer just to warm up your crease a little bit because I didn't want this to be a cool tone look I want it to be a little warmed up because it is the holiday season we're going to be using um, red lippy in this look so i figured there's going to be some red tones in there somewhere we want it warm not cool we're excited for the holidays we're jolly we're not dead unless you want to be dead it is acceptable here i don't know if it'll be acceptable at your holiday get together so think about that about where you're going note to self ding sticky somewhere maybe your forehead i don't know Anyways, I'm going to get a nice crease blending brush. Excuse my sniffles. And we're going in with the Carity Frost palette today because it's got some good shimmers. Holidays, hello. Um, and I'm going to go in here, I think, with my shade. Uh, <clears throat> boo. Hey, boo. Right here. We're going, we're going to go all over the crease. We're going to make it really glammed up. I like all the glitter glam and all that stuff. So we're going to bring you guys in. nice and slow. all right so now i'm going to go with a little bit more of a soft crease brush a little bit more precise tip as you go smaller into your crease you want to get a smaller tip brush to do those more precise ones but i'm going to go in with vicious we're going to get really precise in there i'm really going to bring this into the lid this center we're going to do something real fun and fancy for you guys but black is going to go a long way vicious it's really black but it's got some glitter in, huh? Ooh. Yes. So, I'm going to dabble in her a little bit. Remember, pack where you want it. Just a little bit around the edges. I'm gonna use that fluffy brush that I had those warm tones on just to go around the edges just ever so lightly so we're not over blending and we're not getting the colors too muddled and we don't want them to spread out too big either. We're also gonna get out, I have a angled smoky blender brush that I use from Crown Brush that'll help go through all of this. 
just to make sure the shadows are blended together evenly throughout the board, across the board. Some naked spots on our eyeballs. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer there just to help some of these shadows really stick. And we're gonna go in with Eiffel. Yep, Eiffel, right here. I'm gonna put some concealer on just to put it there and then we're gonna blend it. Blend. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my concealer brush and really just go straight down that middle and then we'll fade it out a little bit. So we know our path of destruction. and just pat it in so it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure you're right where you need to be, right at the top. Right in that line. If it's not crisp, it's okay. We're gonna clean it up, put some glitter and stuff on it just to bedazzle it. the sides where I put the um, uh, concealer I'm just swiping in a little bit of the shadow so it blends it in just a little bit so it's not so cut it's blended So far, so, <clears throat> so now that we have the, the silver gray area done, I just want to bring down that gray just a little bit right under my lash line here just to put bring all the all of the eye look together. We haven't done the finish this eye yet, but we'll get there. Um, I'm not going to put a wing on this particular look. I really just want a big smoky eye um, for what we're going for. I'm going for a really dramatic, over-the-top, super glam look. So I'm just going to bring this smoky eye down just a little bit for you guys. I'm just using one of these brushes that I have the black shadow one. I'm just going to bring it down and blend it all in. A silver line in there. I wanted to put a little bit of a, a detailed line in there. I'm not even going to know if you're going to be able to see it once we're done. But even if you can, I think it's really going to add some something to the look really like polished off finished finished piece in there if you can see through all the details once we're done because we're going to add some shibam glitter doing is i'm actually going in with nyx vivid brights and gunmetal and i'm just going to put a line right above this silver here i'm not going to go too big or too wide i just want to add a line to really finish off I feel like it gives any time you do like a cut in there when you're doing multi shadows or a cut crease. It really gives it a finished look just like everybody does with the, the glitter liners and stuff like that. It's really just a finishing piece. I feel like that really finishes the look and whatnot. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a line in there just to help it feel more finished. It's really like an OCD piece for me. To be completely honest. Make sure that y'all can see it because 
it's pretty hard to see with all these shimmer shadows and all the lights. I feel like I need my brows. I feel like my brows need to be darker. I don't know why. I just do. I'm popping all over the place again. Before we hit brows, we're going to put this glitter on. On this one eye. And I'm going for a very big chunky glitter today. Very big and very chunky. I saw some inspo on the gram. Laundry gram. Who doesn't love glitter? It's the best time of the year for some glitter. Um, and this isn't any specific glitter. Um, I think I got it in the craft area over at Walmart. Just some chunky silver glitter. I like to keep different sizes and textures and whatnot on hand. Um, just because you never know what your look is gonna call for, especially when you're doing all kinds of different stuff. I don't do just glam. Um, I don't do just glam. So having all the different types and textures on hand is always really good um, to really change up looks and do different things when someone doesn't want um, an everyday glam look. Cause let's be real, we all get tired of looking at the same stuff every day. Anyways, I'm just gonna go on and put some glitter glue from NYX um, right down the center here and then I'm gonna do a little bit right under here under my lower lash line for you guys. brow pomade and dark brown per the usual <laughs> finish up the rest of its face and I'll put this all together and show you guys the finish. We're going in with the trusty Ulta Contour Kit. Y'all know I use this thing like my life depends on it. Tarte's 
Amazonian Clay Blush and Party. I've been an avid user of these, and you know what? I haven't, I don't have a collection. I have this one. I've been using it because I'm trying to use it up. But you know what? I love these bad boys. I do. I, they've really grown on me. Um, and I really looked up the other shades that are available. And I must say... I need to add to my collection even though I have hordes of blush and like the city color blushes which I love these the pigments great they last I know this is not the same same shade um, these are I can get these for three bucks look at this three bucks for these I got this as a as a birthday present thing but <laughs> holiday inspired glam look today so bright is my lucky and probably for new year's probably the traditional nude just probably what i'm thinking so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in with this bad boy <laughs> This lip is everything right now. Mm. Instead, we're going to go with the Jeffree Star's Ice Cold today. Perfect highlighter to go with this look for the holidays fiasco. I just like to blend this all in a little bit and then we can pick back up that highlight so dull down just a smidge for those who like a dull I just use a stippling brush so it's not too shiny but it blends all this in together so it's not so it doesn't look like lines it doesn't look like a fucking Neapolitan ice cream you know what I'm saying you can really blend it in so it doesn't look straight Wanted to blend. And here's the finished look for you guys. I hope you guys love it. I feel like it's such a good 
fun holiday party look. It's not too extravagant, just a smoky eye with a little bit of extra liner, some glitter, and a nice bold red lippy. Um, and if you don't have a red metallic lip, you can always get a regular red lipstick or um, liquid lipstick and add your favorite highlighter right on top to add the metallic to it. You can do a white one or a like gold one is what I would suggest to help get that metallic so it's not too like crazy or anything. Ugh. So it's not too crazy or anything like that. But at any highlighter you want to, you want to be extravagant, girl, add a purple or a blue or whatever. A little bit of gray won't hurt nothing. Or anything like that but I hope you guys love the holiday glam collab that I'm doing with Miss Sasha Slays from Instagram and like I said I will pop a picture up of her look and I will link all of her social media down below so you guys can find her check her out she is super dope super talented and she's such a sweetheart me and her get along so well even though we've never met with which is what I love about the makeup world, I meet so many fabulous and amazing makeup artists and aspiring makeup artists and beauty bloggers and beauty influencers um, that we can connect on all levels and we just, we click and we get along and my, like I've always told you guys, the makeup space is always my safe place um, and you guys have made it that way for me and I appreciate you guys all so, so much for that and she's one of the many, many, many people I've run into and we just, we've always stayed in contact no matter what's going on. Even on a personal level, we've been able to just stick. Yep. Like that. Stick. Anyways, but thank you guys so much for staying tuned and staying here with me while we did our holiday glam. Let's take it out. Just this. Ooh. It's too close. Here we go. I love it. Loves. Oh, yeah. Anyways, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that big subscribe button down there for me. And make sure you hit the bell because you don't get all the notifications from YouTube because, well, they don't notify you every single time. So hit the bell for me. If you like this video or think one of your makeup besties will love it, make sure you share it, like it, leave a comment, all that fun Anyways, thank you guys so much for being a part of that split fam and coming hanging out with all of us during this amazing holiday season. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my holiday inspired Pennywise that we just posted so you guys can kind of be involved in some of the creepy fun that we're bringing to the holiday season because I feel like glam gets kind of boring. Everybody on every channel is doing glam right now and let's do something a little different that you might be able to take something and kind of diddle in it and add it somewhere else and what you got going on this season so anyways thank you guys so much for staying tuned and hanging out with me i love you guys so much and i'll see you again in my next tutorial bye